Hi guys, welcome back to episode 25 of the Raid series. In the previous episode, we went into streets and we got along really well. We got a lot of stuff done. We now hit tw level 25. And in this episode, I want to get us onto that Punisher quest line so we can get the bigger container and start getting through some shoreline tasks. So, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so in this ta in this episode, I want to try and get our task shaking up Taladan. This will lead us into getting the Punisher quest line. So uh, we need to do this task purely for the rep as well, but it also lead into us getting uh, Punisher series, which goes through primarily on shoreline. Well, three of them are majorly done on shoreline. So, and I like to do those ones alongside the Peacekeeper quest. So uh, we need to go into room 203. We need to grab the uh, the briefcase from under the bed and get out. We actually have some really good gear on at the moment, so that's a bonus. Uh, our weekly is 35,000 XP to get a lot of meds. A lot of uh, therapist rep too. We need to get a lot of car med kits. That's 10 car med kits. We can probably craft them. Okay, we've got three IFACs there. Bandages and car med kits. Bandages, car med kits, IFACs. We might be able to craft most of this. First up, defib is done. So, uh, can't make car med kits. We can make the IFAX. And we can't make the bandages. Why do I feel like you can make bandages somewhere though? You can make bandages. So if we get one of these. That makes six bandages. We do that twice, that's our 10 bandages. We do one of the crafts of the IFAX, that's the IFAX done. And then it's just finding 10 car med kits. We're going shoreline, that's actually quite a possible thing to do. Okay, so we might as well make the IFAX. That's that done. What do we need to dismantle the wall? A lot. We should do this because we're actually losing experience points per raid. Um, one of these. One of these. One of these. And I wouldn't mind getting one of them. All right. So that's that part sorted. Well, then we might as well start handing in these so that way we don't what, like forget about them. And we have now just given us a mission to get 10 car med kits. All right, so we've got to keep an eye out for that. Now, so for customs, we need to drop this off. Uh, we need key 203. Flea market 203. Cool. All right. Uh, so we've got 105, 110, 114, 204, 214. Guess that. Yeah, we've got all the safe keys. Cool. Um, now for customs, I don't think we have anything else. Polycom Hobo. All right. So we need a Wi Fi camera. I think that's it. Yeah. The Wi Fi camera. So uh, let's hand in this. Pass to Jaeger. Wambulance. Cool. Vitality level three, which means we can now do the hideout upgrade for med station. But we also do need to get a lot of money because I want to buy another LEDX for that. So there's 750 plus 500, it's 1250. I don't know how many we've got. So there's a lot of money to be made. But we can do that. Yeah. So we need to make sure we start getting some wins under our belt. 
So car extract, we need to make sure we've got some money for. We need to do our scav run every time we can now to make sure we've got that money. So we'll do that nice and quick. We want to farm up 1.25 million just for the um, med station upgrade. That will get us our next Intel center upgrade, which will lead into us getting a Bitcoin farm, which gives us free money. Free money. Who doesn't like some free money? So let's... Uh, we're gonna do some quick factory runs. I'm gonna get down to business these these next few episodes. I really wanna try and film throughout the uh, Kappa Speed run as well. So I wanna be down to business. I wanna try and get all these, uh, I wanna get those car med kits done. I wanna get us through some of the quest lines on Shoreline and get into some of this PVP action that you, I know you guys want. All right, ooh, red flare, ginger keychain, is 50K there. <clears throat> we wanna try and get these car med kits. This SVD will sell for 80K as well, so. Um, that kind of made me jump a little bit. Yes, there's one. These guys are angry. Two. Nice. Think I just popped the flare. Two car med kits in our first raid. That's a dub. Mm. Hmm. That's a huge dub. Sorry. Uh, two car med kits, some stuff to sell, and the ginger keychain's 50k. The red flare we can use to coin an airdrop, which I don't know when we're going to do that. But, um, but that's all just straight drops. I'll put these down in here for now. We're gonna, we'll are gonna have to do a big sale. When we fill this up, we'll do a big sale. Uh, unload, unload. The ammo. Bit of a mess, isn't it? Gonna start doing this a little bit quicker. Oh, I want to get, want to get this quest done. This quest done. But yeah, easily just shows how much you can just make some money just going into a factory raid, particularly once you get a bit more uh, scav rip up. So we're at like what three point something now, two point something. If we can do the car extract on customs, that's gonna be so godly. <sighs> so we are at two point four. Um, therapist weekly. Two cars, manage. All right, and now that SVD, we can unload, flea market. We should repair it. We'll get 89K for it, I think. 86, we don't have the money for it. We need Zimani. We also want to put these up. Right. And what else did we get? We could probably put these up too. I'm going to top up that cash flow if we can. 22, 4, 20. Sell that knife. Knife. That's still a knife. Sell these. We do we really do need a med box, don't we? A Gingy keychain can just sell. Um, golden stars can sell. Fifty k a pop. Come on, come on, come on! We're nearly there. One more cell. No. All right. Um, so let's get into this customs raid. We need the Wi-Fi camera from mechanic. Customs, daytime. Let's go. 
Alright, yes. Alright, cool, we're good. This is the worst thing ever. I'm gonna get away from this area. Alright, so we're spawning into customs where our objective is to get to room 203 in dorms. Now, as always with customs, who knows what it's gonna bring. Solid. I think I'm going to go down on the right and then around. In the back here. Wasn't really the best timing by me then. But no one saw it, so it's all good. Alright, reload. Let's go. Let's go. It's really exposed, whichever way you come out of this area. We got the worst spawn. The guy, well, the wooden boxes, it was on the left-hand side of the boxes we look at it. I it had to be a player causing the scav. What a joke. I friggin' hate this game sometimes. Fully geared, just get dropped by Mosin. Head jaws. Head jeez. Alright, we move on. Customs. Customs being customs. It's like, what, what do you want me to do about, uh, you know, it's the one map where I just feel like I always get stomped on like that. That, where it's like, you just get, you get, it's not actually the one map. There's a lot of maps that make me feel like that. But customs are just, the, let me put it this way. The raid series in customs has the worst survival rate out of any of my playthroughs. I, I play on my main account. I can go 20 raids on customs without dying. I play on the raid series and it's like, it's like, I, it's my curse. It's my Achilles heel. I cannot survive a customs raid for the raid series. So I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to be a monster. I'm going to be a deviant. And I'm going to get through this raid no matter what happens. So... I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like this. We're gonna get in there, and then we're gonna we're gonna cause havoc right now. All right, so let's get back into custom trade. I'm tempted to just go night time just to get this task done. Do I go night time? Do I go night time? I don't have a flashlight. Oh, we'll do it one more day. <sighs> we have to get this done. All right. Well, it's definitely a much better uh, spawn. So we're over on the bo uh, the boiler side this time. I'm gonna do the hidden station on the way through. Be here. You never know what we might find. <sighs> you know what? Load it up. Half a mag of ammo to shoot in someone's leg. But my theory is that guy in the previous raid was probably trying to do shooter born in heaven. Um, something like that. I just took a really clean Mosin shot. There. Is it Thursday today? Thursday.
Mm -hmm. I got this song stuck in my head. I gotta get, it. gotta get it out. We can't escape from Taco. Cause we're always dying and we're always trying. Now we've got two or three. We're gonna get a two or three. It's gonna be glorious. Car is up. We could press the car, run to two o three. Oh, it is. It's a trick play. I want them to think they're at, we're at the car. We hear grenades coming off at the car, then it worked. <sighs> if it does, <laughs> if we don't hear grenades going off at the car, then we're screwed. Did that guy say pest? Because that makes no sense if he did. Alright, placing a Wi Fi camera down for informed means armed. be a run through but I don't care so a run through happens if you don't have 400 XP 420 XP or you um don't stand there at least seven minutes but the quest that we we're just doing doesn't require you to have a survive status so we can hand it in even without having a survive status so to me I don't want to sit around for two minutes just so we can go, oh, we, we just have one less run through. When really the priority is just to get our customs alive so we can go to Shoreline and win over there. Because that's the map of winning. But yeah, we spawned in, we ran across to uh, the dorms pretty much. We did a stash on the way. Went across the dorms, got the items out of the dorms. We hit the car just to see if we trick people into thinking we're taking the car and then got out. So shaking up teller is done. And this leads finally to Punisher. That wants to go to the woods. So this is uh, eliminate scars using an ACAM series on on Shoreline. This is to mark three things on Shoreline. So we need three markers for that. Another scav quest for woods. Two quests for woods. Broken G phone and a broken G phone X. So yeah, this was the main thing I was after. Uh, which means we now need six markers for woods. And an AKM series. So AKM Ascent, this is normally what I do. 
you guys were like, oh, pistol, you should mod it more. This is literally the, the whole loadout I usually take. I literally just put a PSO on it and I'm usually good to go. You guys, you guys want me to start modding more? So let's see what I can put together for fairly cheap. Uh, maybe that with this and I might be able to change that to that and the that. And probably could get that nice and cheap. Let's see if I can buy all that, all that nice and cheap. Everything besides that, so we can do that. Look for non-traders, so they want 10K for that. I'm happy with that. 13K for that, cool. There you go. That's not bad. All right, so we can put this away now. Uh, mags. Get some PSMO. We're not gonna be able to buy this cheap. Now we just spent like 60K in ammo, but this ammo is actually decent. So, cool. All right, uh, shoreline. We don't have any like sh sh shoreline keys at the moment, so it doesn't really make much of a difference I can think of. All right. Um, we need six markers that I can think of. One, two, three, four, five, six. Have a look. Shoreline on the top. Nope, 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 no, nope. Lend lease. This requires us to go to uh, West 112, East 306. And this one requires us to go to, the no, vitamins is West 112. We need West 216. The so West 216, West 112, and East 306. Um, Markings, markings, we need another three and, and three jammers. All right, this is what we need. Uh, Key wise, let's see how we go. So, might need a bit more money. I don't think we're going to be able to buy these. West. Uh, 112. 77K. 216. three hundred fifty k We'll just get this one for now. We should definitely put them in a container at least. I don't think I have any other keys at all, do I? Pretty rough that we haven't found any shoreline keys. All right, let's see how we go. We've got a lot of marking to do. Hopefully we get a spawn over on the uh, on the tunnel side, that would be the biggest thing we could get here. We spawn on the other side, it's going to be a little bit more hiding to do. Should. Let's go. All right. Check, check, check. Yes, we have audio and we have the bad spawn that we didn't want. So we're going to run over here and hide. Man, this is like the worst spawn for us. So all we are planning is on that side of the map. Besides the jammers. I'm gonna run up here and literally lay the prone for like a minute or two. We have so many jammers.
think Chandler's worth more. Alright, so that me. Might as well get the kill before we die. Run. Three deaths, three kills. Huge raid. Look how clear that looks for some reason. I don't remember a PSO being so clear. Alright, so we need to run up to the radar tower, place down our gem there, then we're going to go to the tank on the other side of that. We're going to go into the pier, put two markers down to the pier. Cottage is to put two markers down. Resort for two markers, one more tank up the top. Go by the village, put last tank down, and then exit via the tunnel. We honestly don't have to do it all, but... Let's see how we go. we pick up an item over here. Board lend lease. On the other side of this bush, I think. Pretty sure that's not the scav. Right, let's go. Gonna do a mad dash. I know I used full stamina, but I was trying to just get across that gap. <sighs> and then obviously I'm trying to kill scavs at the same time. Hello? Someone in there. But he didn't die. I 
I might actually pop that SJ6. Alright, let's go. We've got a lot lot of distance to cover. Touch the body for the XP. So supporting on the other map, other side of the map would have been ideal because we could have got like a lot of markers done very quickly. But I, I guess on this side, at least we're getting some of the more remote stuff done. Part of me is like we should just go to pier, mark the pier, go to cottages and then get out. So is that five? That's five scabs already. Nice. That is not the scab shooting. Is it not? Could just have a quick look down the road, see if there's any scabs there to shoot at. Getting through these punisher quests is actually like... Oh, well, that's... There's someone at the gas station just here. Getting through these uh, punisher quest line is actually more important than getting through the shoreline quest line, in my opinion. Because getting up to um, punisher part 4, where you got to kill 10 PMCs on shoreline, the earlier we can get on that, the better. Can't see any scabs there. Does not make me excited that I heard shooting at the new gas though. Oh, sorry, at the gas station, not new gas. I think I just saw someone go around the back of that. Means they should come up here. Ten, nine, eight. Yep, there he is. All right, we probably won't go to new to the to there now. It's just if we go there, we're just I don't think it's worth it. We don't have to get all these quests done in the one go. Cut through here, turn left, go to cottages, mark two more things, can mark the tank at the village, and then get out. And that really does clean up everything on this side of the map. Because we've got the Lenley side I'm done as well. I think that's the smarter way of doing this. I'm trying to teach you guys the right way of doing it. 
I couldn't tell that was where God was wearing a cowboy hat or he was got the uh, the level three rag band like big backpack, which is which if he's done that, he's like level fifty or high forties. You have to do like do like a rag man task. I can't remember what, what it is, but it's I don't remember it being an easy task. It's one of the new ones they literally just added. Two snipers comes are dead. There's all the Mosin shots we heard. <clears throat> See, that guy will be looking for us and waiting around there, creeping around and all that. We're just like, nah, see ya. So... I said, I think this is a smarter way of doing it. It's an airdrop. Can you just run a little bit further? Go, 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 go. I had a shotgun and no idea where we were. Things always buggy. Yeah, they should both both finish. I shouldn't have to stick around for it. I want to test it. When there's like 10 seconds left, one should finish. And then the other one. 10 seconds later. What are the two quests called? Anesthesia? Maybe I was meant to... Oh, I only had to mark one. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I'm on healthcare privacy. I thought I had to mark two things there, but just one. All right, so I gotta go two ambulances at the extract there and the tank over here. I just wasted a marker then. Fine. It's fine.
So it would have only been one thing to mark down at the pier. Wasn't wouldn't be worth the risk at all that in that sense. Cabra the Pilgrim. Hello there, Pilgrim. Hit both the Pilgrim and the Ski Hole Eyes Mask Task item. Oh, well, whilst we're in the mood for testing, let's try and mark both ambulances at the same time. One. One, so 15 seconds time. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. There we go. Cool. So we've still got one tank to mark. One ambulance to mark and the pier to mark. Oh, and the and the resort. And the jammer. <laughs> so a few things to mark. I don't actually think we got a single quest done then. Even though we did so much. <laughs> we marked we did two jammers and two of the ambulances, two of the tanks, and one of the healthcare uh, one of the other ones. Anesthesia. And we got six of our uh, punisher kills too. That's a really solid raid. <laughs> Even though we got nothing done. Uh, so, 1900 XP, we, we pretty much perused around the center of the map and uh, it worked out pretty well in the end. So, no complaints here. I would have liked to uh, at least get one task done so we hit level 26. I like how we're like kind of getting a level, an episode at the moment, um, which is pretty efficient for, you know, each, each episode's about an hour of gameplay slash recording. So, um, and I'm explaining stuff and all that stuff on top. So, that's actually pretty awesome how we're we're kind of getting all that done. Um, magnet in here, put all that in here. All right, so we're going to need one more for the next one. PSMR. Cool. And now the other thing we need to do, it's worth taking that for this. <sighs> hand over lend lease. So we got one of the lend lease items hand, to hand over as well, which is actually the really annoying one. I'm glad we got that one. Out of all these, this is the most annoying one. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to end this one here. I think it's important we try and get that scav run done, but I really need to go to the bathroom. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna scav factory and then I'm gonna run to the bathroom. But oh, that was really good timing. <sighs> Got another bandage. Hey bro, do you have any car med kits? No, sorry man, I haven't found any. Yeah. Well, worth a try. Once we start getting into that resort, we'll be able to find some car med kits, I'm sure. Um, 
I'm just going to be lazy here. That's probably all the stuff that we're actually going to use. And then just... Uh, that sells more on the flea. 61k. Hopefully they've fixed it. All right. So that is pretty much it for this episode. Um, fair bit of progression. We've got the shaking up telecast task done. And then uh, we're working obviously on the daily. So, sorry, the weekly. And at the same time, we uh, got a heap of shoreline stuff done. Now, uh, next week is the Punisher speed run. So cap of speed run. Now, I'm going to try my best to get as many things filmed as possible during that. It's just, I, I just don't know how it's going to go yet. I'm going to film the next uh, couple of days. So today's Thursday. So I'll do Friday, Saturday night. Uh, I'll get my filming done. And then uh, from there, I'm, I don't know. See how we go. So I'll try my best to keep everything up to date. But apologize if there is any delays next week uh, for episodes 26 to 30. So um, try my best and go from there. What's going on over here? Do hideout things ready. So lavatory is done and med station is done. Turn that off. But yeah, pretty much uh, we'll see how we go. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, yeah, but anyway, as per usual, like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Say hi to your, your partner your mom, or your mum for me. And I uh, hope you have a safe and wonderful, amazing weekend. Um, but that is it for me for this episode. And uh, hopefully big success next week. I think we're going to have a lot of uh, success on Shoreline. Which is something I don't normally say. I just feel good about it for some reason. Anyway, lastly guys, I'll see you next time.